business was established about 11 years ago. Because um, I came from the background of a garage industry which my grandfather started and then my father afterwards and I wanted to do something different and started to sell second used cars. And so um, I started up here and on an old filling station site we used to own and then as the business grew we bought some more land off the council and we've built the Preston's building. When I established the business, you know, I was coming into it a bit blind and then after a few months I was surprised with the amount of sales we were getting. But I think we were lucky, you know, because of the area and of previous reputation within the motor industry, we got some customers through that. And, you know, it was pre the recession days when people were spending money and changing their cars on a regular basis. So, you know, it's it's just, I've been, I've been lucky when I started, I don't know if if somebody was to start today, I should imagine it'd be a lot more difficult to get the business rolling. I didn't change it as much, you know, we, we just had to take control of how much stock we were um, keeping and it was just hoping for the best and carrying on regardless of the recession, just trying to keep your head above water and keeping it going. And hopefully, you know, we've done that and we've come through the worst of it. Yes, and I, th I should imagine the best um, advice I could give is, you know, don't overspend in the good days, keep something behind for when things change. And then at least then you've got a bank to keep you going through the hard days to, and hopefully, you know, to see the better days coming again. I think it's just putting customers first and keep on uh, keep giving them quality, you know, at the end of the day people are spending money with you and you need to give them the quality they expect and, you know, give them, the, be fair in your way of dealing. I know we're all here to make money, but it's not, don't just put profits first, put the customers, you know, make sure they, they get, they're satisfied with what they're getting off you. At the moment we, we've started to use the internet on a more regular basis, um, we've got our own which we put um, updates on a daily basis, you know when something new comes in we'll put it on the internet and then we've been using uh, eBay and um, Autotrader as well just to expand the, um, the marketing field. Um, so you know we've seen over the last five years people are willing to travel from the further end of Scotland down to Southampton, just if, if, if you've got the right car for them, they're willing to travel to buy it. Well, with what I've, I've seen today, I think it's a more relaxed atmosphere and it's been run by people who are there to help and, you know, have proved themselves within the business industry, but it, it seems more relaxed and they, they put young entrepreneurs at ease and, tell, and try to help them in a positive way. And um, no, I, I, you know, it's, it seems a good way of, of developing business within Gwynedd. Keep on going, work hard, but um, you know, don't, we're, we're all, we all make mistakes, but don't dwell on your mistakes. Uh, you know, learn from them, but carry on and carry, don't stay still. Just carry on and don't look back. Just look forward. If you look after your customers. Um, you know, they'll look after you and they'll be coming back and hopefully that's what we've done, you know, we've, we've given them good quality cars and reasonable prices and um, hopefully that's the motto of the business, to look after the customer, so I, I hope it, it works. And, uh,